Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge, and welcome to another week of school lunch inspiration. This time I'm sharing more colorful lunch ideas. Okay guys, now on last week's video I had so much fun creating all of the colorful lunches like red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. And it was actually pretty easy to find foods in those colors. But this week was definitely a challenge because I needed to find foods that were brown and black and purple and so on. So I was really excited when the RX Bar company sent us their bars this week to review. I'm a big fan of these bars. They're really easy to throw into a lunch and they're made with quality ingredients. They come in so many different flavors and colors. And I even have a special coupon code to save you 25% off your first order. You just go to rxbar.com slash thefamilyfudge and use the code thefamilyfudge. And now on to the weekly shout out. This week it's going to Niche M for leaving us our first comment on last week's video. Thank you. Now let's get started. Good morning guys and happy Monday. Today I have Jackson and Lily with me. Say hi. 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 So what do you think about the purple lunch today? That's awesome. It's awesome? Mm -hmm. Well last week when we did colors we ended on blue. So Friday was blue. So of course today on Monday we're gonna go with purple. I had several comments last week about whether or not my portion sizes were big. I get this a lot you guys. But I want you to keep in mind that this is just lunch. This isn't breakfast or snacks, and the kids aren't gone all day because we're homeschoolers, and so I don't really need to pack them a ton of food, so just keep that in mind. So for today's lunch, I started by decorating my boxes. I added a purple napkin to the bottom and some purple cupcake liners. Super simple, not expensive, and it really makes it easier to clean. And you guys, since today I'm sending cereal, I wanted to be sure to give them a napping just in case there's any spills. So for this lunch today, I started by cutting up some purple carrots. Now I think these taste just like regular carrots. I don't think they taste weird at all. And of course to go along with that, I'm also giving the kids a handful of the purple grapes. I put a little purple flag in there just for fun and they can actually use it to pick up their grapes. Today I'm also giving the kids lots of this really fun cereal. This is the Purple Maze Flake cereal. I get this at Trader Joe's. And it's just slightly sweet, but it's really tasty. It's gluten free and they're crispy and delicious. So of course to go along with our cereal today, I'm also giving the kids some milk. But this is just half full. They don't usually use a ton of milk for a little cereal bowl like that. Today I'm super excited to be giving the kids this RX bar for kids. These are the first time we've tried these. And there's a lot of protein in here, so like seven grams of protein. And you can see all of the ingredients are listed here on the front, so there's no weird ingredients or anything like that. Egg whites, almonds, cashews, and one date, and that's it. And this package is sort of a light purple color, so it's perfect for today. Now lastly, I am sending the kids with this berry applesauce. I get these at Trader Joe's. And because there's berries in it, it definitely makes it look like a nice purpley color. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the lunch boxes. I definitely want to put an ice pack in there today to keep the milk nice and cold. And I'm sure to put a spoon in there as well. And we'll see you when we get back. We're back home now, and here's what we ate. Good job, guys. I've got Jackson and Mackenzie and Lily with me. So let's see how they did today. What was your guys' favorite part? I like the cereal. You like the cereal the yeah, best? Me too. That is really good cereal. I see Mackenzie ate all of hers. Let's see. Did you eat everything? Mm-hmm. Very nice. Okay, let's check Jackson's. How'd it go, Jack? Good. Yeah? I can see you had all of your cereal and all of your milk. And oh, there's just one little bite of carrot. That's actually pretty good. Now let's check Lily's. You had all your milk. What did you like, Lily? Mm, cereal, milk, carrots. You did? Oh, yours got a little bit messy. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a few grapes left in there and just a few carrots. So that's pretty good. How did you like your RX bars? They were good. Yeah? Overall, you guys did very well today. And you know what color's coming up tomorrow? No. Pink. Yay! <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning friends and happy Tuesday. Today's lunch came out so pretty and pink. 
This morning I have Jackson and Mackenzie and Lily with me. Say good morning. Good morning. So what do you think about the pink lunch? Cool. Do you like it, Jackson? Uh-huh. It's for boys too, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, boys can like pink. They want to. Now since it is Tuesday, I made sure that today's lunch is nut free because the older two kids do attend a nut free campus on Tuesdays. So I started off by decorating my boxes like I normally do. I added a pretty pink napkin and some cupcake liners. Then I started rolling up the pastrami. Pastrami meat is kind of pink naturally, so it definitely went along with the lunch today. But the kids have never had pastrami before, have you guys? No. no. It's kind of like roast beef, but it's a little bit um, more flavorful. I'd say think about how beef jerky tastes. So there's a little bit of pepper, but it's not spicy. Oh. So we have some rolled up pastrami here. Next to that, I'm giving the kids a little milk. I had these little milks left over from one of my HelloFresh meals, so I thought I would just go ahead and put that in there since it is pink after all. I'm remembering to put a little tiny spoon in there and that's because I'm giving the kids lots of this cherry vanilla Greek yogurt. And I decided to take it out of the carton this time and put it in the lunchbox because the last time I sent Kenzie with a full cup of yogurt, it leaked in her backpack. So from now on, I think I'll try to put it in the lunchbox instead. Over in this corner, I have just two of these little pink and white cookies from Trader Joe's. It has like a pink coating and some sprinkles on there. Now to go along with that today, I'm also giving the kids this organic strawberry apple fruit pouch. These are from Trader Joe's and they're perfect today because they're pink. And lastly, I'm also giving the kids some pretzels. These are left over from Valentine's Day, but they are in a pretty pink bag, so it's perfect for today. And I don't think they're too old. I think they're, and they're pretzels, right? Pretzels stay good for a long time. Yeah. yeah. So right now, I need to get all of my lids on. I definitely want to put some ice packs in there today because of the milk and the meat and the yogurt. And then I'll get them in their lunch boxes, and then we will head out the door. And we'll see you guys when we get back. Hi guys, we're back home now and I only have Mackenzie here helping me. Say hi. Hi. So what did you think about the pink lunch today? It was so cool. Yeah, is pink your favorite color? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and check yours. I had a peek at it already, but it looks like you ate everything. Mm -hmm. Very good. What was your favorite part? I like the yogurt and the meat and the cookies. Yeah, the, those cookies are good. And the milk. The milk was pretty good too. Really? Yeah. Well, I have to say, whenever I pack yogurt, it tends to be pretty messy. You can see it's like all over the lid and it gets inside the lunch box, but that's just, I guess that's okay. It's not, it's not too bad, but it is definitely on the messy side. It looks like Jackson ate everything and Lily ate everything too, although I know she did share some of her yogurt with um, Griffin. So overall, I think today's lunch went really, really well. And we'll see you on Wednesday. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Wednesday. Today has been super crazy in the morning, so I'm gonna run through lunch really quickly. So as you can tell today, I tried to find all white foods, although some of the foods ended up looking more yellowy white, but that's okay. So in today's lunch, I went ahead and started by decorating my boxes with a napkin and some paper cupcake liners. Back over in this corner, I added lots of vanilla Greek yogurt. Over here, I have some cauliflower with just a tiny bit of ranch right in the corner for dipping. I have some rolled up turkey and Havarti cheese sandwiches. I just took a tortilla, I put a lot of the herb cream cheese on there. I added a slice of turkey and a slice of Havarti and I rolled it up. And then I just sliced them into these fun pinwheel sandwiches. Now to go along with that today, I'm also giving the kids some of this light kettle corn. I get this at Trader Joe's and I just put it in a little container there. And then for a special treat today, I'm also giving the kids some of these cookies. These are the pink and white cookies, although I'm just giving them the white ones today. And these are like a shortbread cookie with um, like a coating and sprinkles on there. So there is today's lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of my lids on. I definitely wanna put an ice pack in there today and then we've got to get out the door. And we'll see you when we get back. We're back home now and here's what we ate. Good job guys. Right now I have all the kids with me. What did you guys think of all white colored food today? It was so cool. Did uh -huh. your friends think it was fun? Yeah. So you can see little, or Mackenzie's got quite a lot of yogurt crust from her yogurt, but she ate everything else. Good job, what was your favorite part? I like the cookies.
cookies. Oh, how did you end up with two? Whoops. <laughs> I accidentally packed two ice packs today. That's silly. <laughs> now let's go ahead and check Jackson's. Let's see. Okay, so Jackson just left one little sandwich, but the overall that's pretty good. What was your favorite part, Jackson? Um, sandwiches. You want to eat yours now? It's still, it's still cold, so you can probably eat it. And let's check Lily's. Oh, Lily, you did so good. Now you told me what your favorite part was already, didn't you? What was your favorite part? Yogurt, the sandwiches, and boo-boo. Yeah, she was calling it white broccoli. She really liked the white broccoli. It's called cauliflower. That's right, otherwise known as cauliflower. So your sandwiches are gone, although I know she shared some of these with Griffin, but she ate everything else. And the popcorn's all gone and the cookies are all gone. So, very good job today, guys. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, and happy Thursday. Now you can probably tell the theme of today's lunch is brown. So I tried to find as many brown foods as I possibly could, but it was kind of difficult. What do you think, Mackenzie, does it look cool? Yeah. Do you like it, Lily? Yeah. Okay, so here's what I did today. Of course, I started off by adding a brown napkin and some brown cupcake liners just to make it cute. Then I took some roast beef and I rolled it up and added it to a cute little pick. Back over here, I have some pears, but these are actually called Bosch pears, and so they have a brown skin. And I added some googly eye picks just to make them fun. Over here, I have a baby bell cheese in a brown wrapper. This is actually the Gouda type of cheese. But to me, all the baby bell cheeses kind of taste the same. Now over here, I'm also giving the kids something new to try. This is the Chia Pod in the dark cocoa flavor. So it's sort of a chocolate pudding consistency, but this is actually made of chia seeds, almond milk, cocoa powder, and it's lightly sweetened with coconut sugar. So it's vegan as well. So I'm not quite sure if they'll like this, but I mean, it's got chocolate. How bad could it be, right? Yeah. And it comes with a fun little spoon. Now lastly today, I'm also sending the kids with an RX bar, but I only have two of the peanut butter and chocolate flavor. So Jackson's actually going to get just the peanut flavor. And you can see all of the ingredients on the front here, so they're very simple. Lots of protein in these. So that should keep them full for a while. Now I definitely want to put some ice packs in here today because of the roast beef and the cheese and the pudding and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of my lids on and then we will head out the door. And we'll see you guys when we get back. Okay guys, lunchtime is over and I have Jackson and Mackenzie here to tell you about it. Because there was definitely Hi. something in the lunch today that they did not like and you can pretty much tell what it is. It was these guys. So what did you think Mackenzie? I don't think she had like any of it. I did tried, you try it? I tried one bite and then it wasn't good. No, what do you think Jack? Now I have to say that I gave some to Griffin and he really liked it. But let me just show you a close up of this you guys. It is sort of a different consistency. So I probably wouldn't give this to the kids again. Maybe I should try it. Mm, yeah, that's not good. It has a very dark chocolate flavor to it and not enough sweetener to like balance it out. So maybe not the most kid friendly choice for lunches. Okay, but let's check everything else. Starting with Mackenzie's. Oh, Mackenzie ate everything else? Mm -hmm. Good job, what was your favorite part? I like the bar and the meat. You like the RX bar? Yeah. Out of all the ones that you tried, which one was your favorite? I like the one I just had in my lunch. The peanut butter one? Yeah. Cool. Okay, let's just check Jackson's. Oh, of course he left his baby bell cheese. You know what I like? What? In my lunch? What? The meat. Uh-huh. The RX bar and the pear. The pear? Oh, how was the pear? The pear was cool. Did it taste like a regular pear or different? Regular pear. Oh, good. Uh -huh. All right, let's check Lily's. Lily ate all of her meat, she ate her cheese, she ate her fruit, and she ate her RX bar, but not her Chia Pod thing. So overall, really good job today, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys, and happy Friday. Today, I saved the hardest lunch for last, and that's because it's really challenging to find foods that are naturally black. Come see. <gasps> It's hard to find foods that are naturally black. So what I did was I started with some black bean pasta. I found this at Trader Joe's. We've never tried it before, but it happens to be gluten-free and it has a lot of protein and fiber. So 
I thought we could give it a try. I'm gonna serve this pasta cold today as sort of a pasta salad. I went ahead and just cooked up the pasta, drained it, it made the water really black, it was really interesting. And then I just added some salt and pepper, some herbs and butter. Really simple pasta salad. So I only gave the kids a little bit of it because I'm not quite sure they're gonna like it, but we shall see. Now of course I decorated the lunch boxes with a really cute black and white napkin and I have two little polka dot cupcake liners as well. Back in this corner I have some black olives, probably my kids favorite out of all of this lunch and I added the little eye picks just to be fun. Over here I have some black grapes. We don't normally buy black grapes but they're sweet and I think the kids will hopefully like them. I added just a little pick in there for fun. And then of course I have a mini baby bell cheese. And if you get the white cheddar variety, it comes in a black package, so that's like perfect for today's lunch. I'm also gonna give the kids a teeny tiny little fork for their pasta salad. And then we also have these to try. We haven't had this flavor before. This is the RX Bar in the chocolate sea salt flavor. And as you can tell, it has all of the ingredients listed right here on the front. So it's very clean, full of protein and hopefully the kids will like it. So that is everything in today's lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and get my lids on here, get them in the lunch boxes, and then of course when we're all done, we will show you what they ate. And we'll see you when we get back. We're back home now, and here's what we ate. <laughs> so as you can tell, I've already opened everything up, and the kids did really well today. What did you guys think of the new black noodles? They were a thumbs to the side. The thumbs to the side. I thought they really tasted a lot like black beans. Yeah. So I see Jackson did not eat his baby bell cheese, but it's still in its wrapper, so I think it's still good. And Lily ate all of her fruit, and all of these bars are gone. What'd you guys think of these? They were so good. They were good. So overall, they did really well today. I had so much fun doing these different color themed lunches this week and last week. I hope you guys enjoyed them too. And we'll see you next week. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Also, let me know in the comments down below, out of all the lunches, which one was your favorite? Now, if you'd like to see last week's video, you can do that by clicking on the link up here. And if you'd like to see yesterday's video, you can click on the link down there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.